Welcome back. Now, apart from the old cave painting of woolly mammoths, the Ice Age is not widely considered as a golden era for art. But next week, a new exhibition opens at the British Museum, challenging us to think again. It explores the period when modern man arrived in Europe around 40,000 years ago and shows work it claims was created by artists who were able to express themselves creatively. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, has been with the rather more modern artist, Grayson Perry, to check it out. Most of us think of great art as the work of sensitive sophisticates, not necessarily cavemen. But a new exhibition at the British Museum is aiming to overturn our preconceptions about the Ice Age. With ceramics, drawings and bone engravings like this one, aged up to 40,000 years old. And it's all being presented as art rather than archaeology. We took Turner Prize winning artist Grayson Perry to hear his verdict. Well, the first thing that strikes me is that, you know, as a drawing, it's very well done considering the kind of tools they had. I mean, they know their, their subject incredibly well. And just purely on, you know, observation, they're, they're, not, they're doing exactly the same thing as an artist would do today. Saying that, in view of the fact that art means something different to us now in this modern world, is it valid to present this to modern audiences as art when we understand art as self-expression and it's meant to provoke thought and emotionally move us and all these different things. Well I think if you ghettoise kind of art academics often describe things like this and outsider art as not being art you know how can you not like how not can you not be moved how not can you get an immense, immense aesthetic thrill looking at artifacts that are made up to 40,000 years ago how can you not like it? What is art to you then? Well Post Duchamp, you can say anything is art. The big question is always, is it any good? How do you make that decision when you look at a piece of art? Well, it's a recipe but makes something beautiful. Age, like I say, is one of the things that this, these, these have it in spades. But there's also delicacy, precision, pattern. The exhibition also includes some of the earliest examples of sculpture, such as these abstracted figures of the female form found across Europe. They've started to kind of have an idea or conceptualise an essence of what a person was or what nature was. And maybe they did not feel the difference between them and nature as much as we do. The fact that these are shown next to modern pieces, do you think that proves that there's almost a biological urge within human beings to create art. I think that's one of the most powerful things about this show is that these people, in their, even though they were living in you know, one of the harshest environments where they were kind of hunted by wild animals, they still needed to make art. They still needed beautiful, non-functional objects around them for whatever reason we don't know. At the heart of the exhibition is this more representational sculpture, described perhaps bluntly as a mature, obese woman who's had children. Dating from around 30,000 years ago, it's the oldest known ceramic figure. It was found in what's now the Czech Republic. I'm pretty moved by it, really, and it's obviously been made by someone who's made a lot of these. You know, it's not a beginner. It's not a beginner that's made this. It's someone very skillful who knows exactly what they're doing. And to get something to survive in the, the primitive kilns that they had in those days, you know, that took a lot of skill. That, for me, tells me that there was some sort of, you know, that there was a sort of meaning, a cultural meaning to this object. Does it matter to you that 30,000 years later we don't know what that cultural meaning is? No, because you know, what's brilliant about this art in this exhibition is it's speaking wordlessly to us. You know, this is a you know, this is speaking to a part of us that is almost without language. It's it's communicating across all those thousands of years, visually to our. It's it's, it's almost like an unconscious to unconscious conversation that's going on. You know, and so the the, the artist that made that is speaking to some sort of deeply buried part of being human that I still have now. It's a far cry from cavemen hunting woolly mammoths. But how will the show affect our 21st century understanding of art? I think all contemporary artists should come to this show because I think it will remind them the business they're in. You know, the petty concerns of whether your conceptual art is a little bit different from somebody else's conceptual art will evaporate when you think you know, this is the root of why we make art. You know, if only I could make things that communicate to my society with the power and relevance that these objects must have had for their society. You know, that's the thing I would take away from it. 
Grayson Perry with Matthew Kay. And a reminder of tonight's main news. The French 